Alright, hey everyone, Wanderbot here, and welcome back to No Man's Sky, or welcome to No Man's Sky if you've, uh, if you've never joined me for this extraordinarily long journey. So, loading shaders. I've already launched the game, so this should go pretty quick, and I don't have any mods installed, so we shouldn't have to worry about any, uh, crashes right now. So, if you're not aware, this game's just been updated. They just added a whole slew of new things to mess around with, and I'm really excited to get into it. Because I, I rather like No Man's Sky. It's a very fun, pretty game, and it's got a lot of cool features that I want to mess around with. So, the Atlas Path, Search for Answers, we'll look at that in a second. So, uh, if you guys haven't seen it already, I did a I did a video that probably went up like almost immediately before this one. Uh, that, uh, that over outlines all the new things that have, have been added to this game. Uh, so... If you want to see, like, what is specifically changed, please go, please go check that out. And I more or less go over every new, like, kind of feature block and talk about it. Uh, but let's let's get in here. So we've got enemies. Like, I don't know if any of these guys are actually worth talking to. Oh, yeah, they changed this. The, I love the new dialogue UI. I can't. Okay, as I approach the warrior, I hear an item drop to the floor. They very deliberately ignore the faint beeping that has begun to emit from near their feet. Despite my lack of understanding, I sense I should do... Likewise, let's leave calmly. I'm not to the warrior and back away carefully, being careful not to make any larger sudden movements. All seems well. Yeah, yay? Yay. All right, let's see if the trade terminal's changed at all. All right, so let's sell items from my inventories. I don't even know what I have. Uh, hello. So we've got an enormous metal cog. Oh, and instead of being percentage based, it's uh the base, base the base price. So now we've got trade goods to work with. We've got exosuit inventory, starship inventory, but no freighter inventory. But maybe I just don't have my freighter uh, in the area. How do I, how do I go back? Ah, right click and let's see what I can buy from it. So we have nonstick piston. So we got a whole bunch of these things. Uh, neat thing is, oh geez. So they they buy and sell for a fair amount, and you can buy a, buy and sell a fair bit of them. Uh, and so this place specifically has, like, holographic crankshafts. Buy one for 6,000 units. But I can sell it, potentially, for... Maybe not double that, but, you know, for a, a 2,000 credit... Uh, profit. That's not bad. I mean, admittedly, I've got 28 million credits right now, so I'm not... I'm not hurting too much, but... I do like the, the look of the new trade UI. Because now, instead of just being this, like, kind of arbitrary percentage, you know very much exactly uh you know what is uh what is supplied and how much of a price differential you're gonna make that'll help all right let's take to take a look at this guy okay still can't understand anything about this let's see what we can trade for blueprints i don't have many uh i don't have many of these so it says buy in red oh required rank at uh adjutant so we've got maybe some new gun mods to work with. Looks like we've got like scatter blaster damage, scatter blaster capacity, reload accelerant, impact damage. So yeah, some of these look pretty nice. Uh, I'm gonna buy the beam upgrade, just because we need more beam upgrades. But it doesn't look like this really has what I'm looking for. The shotgun stuff would, could be interesting, but it doesn't sound like they've added any uh, ground-based enemies yet. So nothing that I'm, nothing that I'm terribly interested in, like. Ground combat is cool and all, but they really need some new enemies to to make it worth fighting. God, if they added like some kind of weird monster hunter level of like creatures that you like hunt down and fight for better gear, that'd be amazing. I just want more monster hunter. I want monster hunter. Damn it! Hello. All right, so we've got a missions listing agent. So this is one of the main new features. We've got this guy. So they've got plenty of work available and more rewards to match. So we got a nasty storm. Uh, thin the herd, eliminate sentinels, scan for materials. All of those are kind of useful. Why are these red? Uh, so reward nanite cluster, reward 50,000 credits, 50,000 credits. Flora, analyzer, sigma. Cryo pump, organic catalyst. Some of the, I don't know what some of these are. Let's go with, uh, scan minerals. It's a little bit boring, but it's not red. And we'll, oh, okay. I do kind of wish he'd shut up after a certain point. Okay, so let's go back for a second. So why is this red? Oh, insufficient, insufficient rank. I gotta make them 
Oh, I gotta butter them up before before I can accept this. So we've got curious informants, scan ma minerals. Mainly, it's gonna get us the flora analyzer sigma. I want some more scanning stuff because that'll be helpful. Hopefully, you can actually get. Oh, dude, it'd be great if some of the uh, harder missions actually reward like new w reward new ships and whatnot. So I'm gonna quickly look around. I can't imagine any of these ships are gonna be better than what I've got. Uh, actually, one way or another, it's probably not worth switching out. I've got a 48 slot ship, even if it doesn't have any upgrades. Yeah, 29. But I would like to find an S-class ship eventually. We're gonna have to do it on our freighter, though. That's a new... Yeah, we're gonna be seeing some new ship parts, too. This one has headphones on, I guess. Yeah, so it's cool stuff. Uh, let's go do that. Let's go do that mission. I, I'm curious about about it. We'll look at more stuff later. Supposedly, we're going to be able to communicate with people. Oh, that map looks really nice. Alright. Uh... There's strange powers at work. I've been left messages. Crumbs that lead me along a trail. Should I seek answers? Should I investigate these anomalies and breaches? Or should I enjoy the galaxy on my terms? And avoid whatever trouble this is surely leading towards. Search for answers! Okay, so... We'll have to take a look at that. Abandoned building located. Let's... I, we might as well head for the abandoned building. It's on the opposite side of everything. There's also, uh, some kind of red thing. Oh, it's a... It's a collision warning. Alright, well, that's fine. I'm gonna... Let's head for the abandoned building. Let's see what it is. What it has. Now I'm in a blue system. Have I been to a blue system before, or had I just gotten here? I don't remember. I, I'm really curious. Uh, a lot of things have changed, and I don't exactly remember what we had been doing last. So I just want to take a look. So we've got install technology. I was really hoping that the upgrades would not... Uh, they would have actually slotted the upgrades elsewhere. Oh well. I got a whole mess of plutonium. I do- oh, right, I have an Atlas Pass V3, which lets me get in some places. Yeah, maybe I could look into some of the tech upgrades at some point. Ah, it looks like it's just HP. Not exactly something I'm terribly interested in. Not right now, anyway. Ooh, that flight UI looks nice, because you can kind of see where you're dragging to. Sort of. This looks like not the prettiest planet, but that's fine. I mean, I'm mostly just interested in, uh, in checking out, like, what new changes we have. I still hope that they, uh, they redo some of these things. The lo the addition of low flight, oh, balls. Huh. Oh, interesting. So at max speed, you can't do low flight stuff. You're still prevented from, um... Getting too... Nope. Okay, so low flight really is not low flight yet. That sucks. Looks like landing might be a little bit easier. Alright, let's take a look around. Toxic dust. Okay, so we'll have to worry about that a little bit. Nice part is I've also got a new computer. I don't remember uh, how many of you guys remember my last series, but I was kind of running into... Uh... Oh, hi. Rusted... Rusted metal. Remove damaged components and scrap to op open. Interesting. Nothing found. Well, that's curious. All right, so scanning looks to be mildly changed. It looks a little what. Uh, So I can view discovery. Okay, so I've got to scan minerals. Bunch of things. I'm curious. Critical exposure in six minutes. Oh! So if you pull out your visor on the left, you can actually see how long you have before you just get killed. And... Am I mistaken? Oh, no. I, I got to scan for this. I was hoping for a second I would be able to... Uh, 
I was hoping for a second I'd be able to pull out the visor and take a look at stuff. Alright, so we've got to repair by removing the corrupted material. User identified. Terminal now active. Unlocking data log for analysis. What are the Sentinels? They appear on countless worlds, worlds without summons or warning. They traverse the galaxy unopposed and enforce their will upon every sentient being they encounter. Who made them... Who gave them the will to police the stars and demand that we bow to their silent rule? The goal of the experiment was to learn the answers to these questions. It began in, on an uncharted world beneath a blue-white sun, far from the axis of civilization. The first drone screamed when it was cut open. Okay, so what do we get? Ah, nanite clusters. Nothing useful. Unfortunately, I'm not actually sure how much uh, tech I'm even going to be able to get from this. Uh, from these, like, spots. It does look like they've improved them, so they look a little bit more goopy. Okay, so I've got to go scan some min minerals. Is Does this count? No, it's just a fungal cluster. Okay, so what counts as a scan mineral? Oh, I never actually hit the save beacon here. So it might have to be one of those, like, uh, big resource node things. Well, I do have the mission of uh, scanning all critters on the planet, so I guess I gotta do that too. Uh, let's see. Fortunately, I don't know how long it's gonna take for me to... There we go. Okay, we've got this big guy here that I kind of wanted to scan. That doesn't look that unreasonable. I don't know what I'm taking damage from. It's not these stupid looking things. It's not the platinum, is it? Oh, it's a silicate. Oh. There might be something I can take a look at. Oh, uh, let's check journey. So we got the Gek. So we're best friends standing with the Gek. Words learned. Oh. Interesting. So, these things are new. So, it doesn't look like it tracked progress earlier. That's unfortunate. So, we also have the Merchant's Guild, the Mercenaries Guild, and the Explorer's Guild. And they, and we have different uh, little, like, rep trees with them. So, scan rare creatures, distance warp, missions completed. Oh, good. So, it did keep track of some of this stuff. Uh, so these guys love me for fighting pirates and sentinels. Uh, I'll have to work on that, though. And these, each of these symbols corresponds with a different mission type that we just randomly run into. Uh, so we're still gonna, we're still gonna have to work on our standing with these guys, but at least we got the gold badges, whatever that gets us, I don't know. Well. Uh, let's see. So we gotta find... Where's the S? Oh, south and north. Oh, that's cool. So you got uh, compasses now. Well, actually, the plutonium might... might... might count as what we're looking for here. Does that count? Isotope crystal mineral. Oh. I had to scan, like, a certain number of them? I'm curious. So, by scanning these, we have primary element, plutonium, secondary element, thamium. So we might actually be able to get... We might actually be able to get some thamium from these things. As, like, an occasional drop. Yeah, awesome. So, this is also mineral, and by filling it out, so we can get iron and emerald from these things. Okay, I'm actually, re I'm really liking that. That's a, a nice, uh, a nice change. It means I'm gonna have to, uh, scan some more stuff. Uh, we got some zinc over here. Do these, does all of this? I guess we'll find out, so...
Yeah, it doesn't look like zinc counts, so it's got to be it's got to be rock based. So we're probably gonna want to find oh, well, does deuterium count? Uh, it's silicate. No, maybe not. It does say mineral on the left. Oh yeah, we've 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 filled it out. And it looks like, uh, I'm just kind of filling the, this out by scanning, uh, everything in my immediate area. Okay, back to doing that then. And we're done. Confusing, but we're done. So what's that? Okay, th that just says return to the mission agent. Well, what we probably want to do, I'm just going to wander around for a little while. Uh, we got a couple things we want to do. So, drought-resistant carbon. Uh... I don't even know what we're scanning. Uh, so one thing that we can do, that we want to do, is, uh, actually scan a bunch of critters. Uh, here. Actually, let's... New feature. I don't exactly know how we do this. Let's do... Starship, maybe? Starship out of range. Oh! Oh, we've got Starship... Oh... Well, that's interesting, useful. So we got general cargo. Oh, you know how I was complaining about this stuff? Uh, being in my main inventory, they've now split it up. I wonder if you can actually get upgrades for those now, because, oh damn, that would make my life so much easier. We really do. I'm gonna go sit on my my freighter. I'm gonna see if I can buy a new ship. It won't have as much uh cargo space, but it might help. Okay, but yeah, let's go check this out. Um, after that, I'm gonna have to figure out. Uh, there's a there's a way that you can summon your ship now from a button in the menu. I don't. Oh, it's probably one of the. Yeah, here it is. <laughs> oh crap! That's amazing, actually. Unfortunately, it doesn't look like I can just summon my exocraft anymore. But yeah, so now I can I can just summon my ship whenever I want, as long as it's not. As long as it's not injured. Oh, perfect! This is what I this is what I want to check. It's an upgrade node. Because previously I'd maxed out my my inventory. Whoops. Uh, I I maxed out all of my inventory slots. But now we might actually be able to max out tech slots as something else too, which is super nice. Quality of life, nothing major, but I am 100% down with quality of life. Can I scan literally everything? Almost everything. I don't know. I don't think we need iron that much. So we have a superconductive lock. So I can repair it with a sm Okay, so... So that's what this stuff is. So we'll repair it, and... We just get nanite clusters. Not really worth it, but that's okay. Alright, so this is what I want to take a look at. How do I... Can I not? There's got to be a way to up, up your tech slots. Maybe this is a backpack one. I don't know. Because if we pull up my inventory here, we've got tech, general, and... Well, I mean, I could put it in the health module if I wanted to. Unfortunately, I don't have any other specifically useful tech. If I could get some gold, we could get the shield boost tau and throw it in there. I'm also curious, like, what the difference is between cargo. Oh, high capacity inventory. So... I have no idea how high capacity inventory works. Oh! Obsolete item. They got rid of copper wire. We need to make it back to my base. Okay, uh, let's see, here's what, here's what I'm gonna do. There you are! Yeah, that's awesome! All right, let's go back, let's turn this mission in, because that was kind of the main thing I want to check out. And then I'm going to head home. I don't know what that is, but that's okay. Yeah, I'd like to exp uh, fully explore some of these planets. We need it for, uh, for zoology progress. But, later. All right, so while we travel, I want to check my journey log. Uh, specifically, journey milestones. 
So, naturalist is the one we need to work on, specifically. <sighs> Discovered all species on one planet. I thought I got further than that, or maybe I gave up, I'm not entirely sure. Uh... Because, yeah, we have to do naturalist if I want to get the right warp drive. Unless I can do missions for it. If I can do missions for uh, warp drives, then that would be super nice. Because I really don't feel like scanning every single uh, critter on the planet. Unless I get some kind of uh, upgrade to to facilitate that. So let's... While we're here, we might as well take a look at the... I maxed this thing out. Hopefully we can find a new one at some point, I guess. So I can craft products. That's not that helpful. And none of these are immediately uh, what I'm looking for, and that's okay. I'll have to summon my freighter. Supposedly we'll arrive in six seconds. I do not see the space station, but it's probably... Oh yeah, there he is. Whee! I wonder if they've fixed all the collision bugs, so you can't uh, accidentally get yourself like jammed inside one of these things. So, uh, some of you guys may also know that they've added multiplayer to this. I probably should have addressed that early on. It's just until we actually run into another player, there's really no reason for me to talk about it. Um, but some of you may be wondering, when, I'm gonna, when am I going to play with somebody else? The answer is, I don't freaking know. Uh, I might... Hmm. The problem is, I don't... I know two people that have access to this game. Keith and Batbeard. And I think Batbeard couldn't get it to run, and I think... Keith is just genuinely disinterested in No Man's Sky past a certain point. Oh well. Anyway, so let's go turn this in. But I, oh. That got scary. Don't scan the uh, recruit. Alright, so we can turn it in. Uh, so let's hand in missions. So it looks like we can take a bunch of missions if we want, but I just wanted to do this one. Floor Analyzer. Extension of the multi-tool an analysis visor, boost the resolution of botanical scans, increase the, the value of new discoveries. That's really not as helpful as I wanted, but at least it increases my scanning with the Viking, so I'll take it. I was hoping that it would uh, it would show which are scanned from further away. Well, it's okay. So we got a billion quests that we'll have to do at a later date, but I don't want to. I don't want to do that. Let's go home. Unless this doesn't bring us home, at which point I'm going to be real confused. Yeah, I'm curious how my home system has changed. I hope my base hasn't fallen through the world again. That, that shit sucked the last time. Nope, looks like, uh, well, at least we're inside of our base. That's a, that's a good sign. Let's take a look at it on the outside. No, looks like we're all good. Okay, cool. Yeah, so this is an extreme sentinel planet. Might have some uh, benefits for us. What did I build again? Ah, it's Z. Okay, so I want to see if they've added any new specific uh, building recipes. It doesn't look like it. Not there. We've got a race in it. Oh, race, race initiator. That might actually be more useful now that, I, now that I can play with people. Uh, let's see, maybe some new ramps? I don't remember uh, the pyramid, the small wedge, or the large wedge, but uh, I really wasn't paying that much attention. Decals. You just spam shit all over my base. That's great. Okay. Doesn't look like there's too much new in the cuboid room side of things. I don't remember if there were glass cuboid rooms. There were glass wall... Mm. No, no, there were. There were glass cuboid rooms. What I really want is a, um, is a curved corner that is glass. Because we've got the curved cuboid roof, but that's, that's not what we want. Okay, that's fine. Let's see, anything on lights or farming? Doesn't look like it. Looks like uh, voltaic cells are still about the same. But they might be cheaper to make. Solar vine. So this is probably all the stuff. Okay, so I can do nip-nip, we know about that. A standing pla planter, but it doesn't, okay. 
yeah, it doesn't actually have anything associated. I might have to bring my, um... I might have to bring my NPCs back out and see if they can teach me anything new. Oh, I should take a look at this. I don't know if my Galactic Trade Terminal has anything uh, useful in it. It does sell a couple of things. Looks like it's just superconducting fiber, though. I don't know. I might be able to actually use and abuse this. It looks like uh, the supplies are a bit on the low side of things, though. Looks like a UI could use maybe a little bit of work. But yeah, so if I can actually find a, a place that, say, sells teleport coordinators, I can bring it back to this this base and make mad money. Not that I care overwhelmingly, but still. Okay, so I can upload the base. Nothing useful. Fortunately, there's plants in my base. That's a grumple. Okay, uh, let's see. So I had farms somewhere around here. It's been a while, so I'm a little bit out of sorts. I don't actually remember how to get around. At some point, I'll probably redesign this place. I think I, <laughs> I think I actually, for the most part, just have a bunch of uh, Kurzagin as my as my like main. Uh, Farming resource. Actually, it looks like it's my only farming resource. Well, that's okay. I love glass. Glass is, like, super nice. I feel like the planets are prettier now. I don't I don't know. Maybe it's just me. Alright, well, let's check our inventory. Um, so it says we can craft stuff slightly differently. So we've got dirty bronze. I don't remember having access to dirty bronze. Maybe I learned how to make it. Uh, let's see. Unstable plasma. Actually, uh, can we? Well, antimatter looks like it's about the same stuff. Dynamic resonator about the same stuff. I'm mainly curious about how the heck do we make uh voltaic cells? Yeah, I might have to build uh, bring my builders back out because. Like, I legitimately don't know how to make, um, some of these things anymore. Oh, I do have Elbowman Pearls. Okay, cool. Admittedly, they're not as useful now that, uh, Space Trade. New mission, Inventory Management. Okay, let's take a look at that. Objective Complete Inventory. What? P to change active mission. Uh, how? What? It said P, so we're on milestones. Oh, here we go. Is it log? Inventory full. Access inventory with tab. Move items to the access to your starship. Okay. Begin the construction of your base. Build that. Okay, so mainly it just wants me to free up my, my inventory here. Some of these are different. Well, I guess I'll transfer that and discard that. I don't know how many how many of these objectives we're, we're supposed to do. Okay, now it's gone. Uh, so it still wants me to make the Flora Analyzer Sigma. And we do have the uh, Planetary Base Construction mission. Unfortunately, I don't really have much new I can do. Let's, uh, see. Oh, hi. There's a heat capacitor? So this is a message module. Yeah, weatherproof rubber, lubricant, voltaic cell. I don't know how, to, how we make those. What do we have that I can make now that I'm inside my base? So these are all decorations. We don't care. I probably care about getting a specialist terminal down. So ex exocraft, weapon, science. We'll try construction, see if he has anything to say. I mean, I, I could have just screwed up and I've, I've forgotten how to fabricate stuff. But I'd swear like it involved specific uh, activities. Well... Butts? Yeah, I'm gonna... So this is kind of my home base. Can I... 
can I put down like a separate structure specifically for my builders somewhere? Because that that'd be rather handy. Okay, cool. So I'm gonna I'm gonna plop down a, a square room out here. Out where exactly? Cause I don't want it to obstruct my like really nice view. We'll go with that. Okay. And we gotta get a door up in this. I need an organic catalyst? Uh -huh. Okay. So we gotta do... Let's do a constructor terminal. Do I have to re-recruit re the guy? Ah, nuts. They apparently died in my absence. Alright, also looks like I gotta get some iron here. Okay, so... Uh, it looks like uh, this might not be as easy as I thought. I mean, honestly, regrinding for a couple of things isn't so bad. I'm gonna turn down the sound effects. Damn, that is loud. Be nice if I could just turn off the, uh, or turn down the sound effect for mining lasers specifically. Because the rest of the sound effects. That really does not feel like it's made that much of a difference here. I guess let's see if Sentinels have anything interesting in them. Oh, inventory is full. I forgot it was. Well, at least I equipped myself to be kind of a. A badass. Okay, so let's put away a number of these things. I don't even know why I had all this garbage. Okay, that should help. Uh, let's see. Well, I could also shoot this guy. I just want to see if these guys have anything new. We did want to farm nanites, now that I'm thinking about it. I think you get nanites from these guys fairly reasonably. But yeah, I should probably go back to a, a space station. And it looks like we're mostly just finding finding stuff that we've already got. Okay, uh, well, I have enough iron. I'm just gonna put down the, uh, I'm just gonna put down the terminals. Oops. Wrong direction, there we go. So, that's a weapons terminal, a science terminal. Wait. Oh, god damn it, it's one per room? That's annoying. So, they're just going to be a nuisance, aren't they? Do we get nanite clusters from these guys? I, don't, I really don't remember if it's nanite clusters. Something flies into me, but that's the extent of what I know. I guess let's... Okay, it's pugnium. Eh. Okay, we, we can loot nanite clusters from them, though. So... Main issue is here, we gotta figure out uh, how to get a bunch of... We gotta figure out how to get a bunch of... Specialists in, in here. I guess this is not a bad spot. Let's get a... Uh, get a construction terminal down. Okay, still can't fill it in. Let's take a look. Now, if I remember correctly, you can... I'm gonna have to connect these. We don't have... I don't think we've got any Heridium. We'll just go, we'll just go with the basics. We don't, we don't need fancy from this. Or maybe we do. Room parts. So 30 iron and, and glass, but I don't know how to do, I don't know how to do glass. Well, we got the construction down. I think I'm gonna do science next. Yeah, all of my all of my NPCs are are dead for some reason. I'm I'm mildly uh, uh, unhappy about that just just because they were cool. Where's my portal? Except for this is a Viking system. If I uh, can't pull up my map while I'm in here, I don't I don't actually know what system this is. Oh, that's okay. Uh, 
whole bunch of plutonium to toss into this thing. Yeah, let's let's just go find the space station. Oh, they said it was a regenerated system. I wonder if that actually means that like all of the previously scanned. Uh, I wonder if all the previously scanned tech is still messed up. We also do have an anomaly, which I might be able to stop at. I don't know if it's uh it's refreshed. It seems unlikely though. Yeah, hopefully we can actually build a Stargate. Oh dude, that'd be amazing. But yeah, let's go back to this one. I wanna say this is a Viking system. No, not a Viking. This might be a Gex system? I hope it's a Gex system, because that means we can get our constructor. Okay then. <laughs> well, I guess that answers uh, that answers one of my uh, one of my questions. Can you collide with the um, with the space station? The answer is well. Yes, no. I'm okay with that, though. So yeah, let's see. Let's see what missions we have available here. Looks like we're gonna have to grind a couple of them out. It'd be neat if you could actually, um, with the limited multiplayer, it'd be neat if you could actually form a party and complete objectives as a team. I hope they add that feature because that would be more useful than just seeing each other. All right, so this is not what I wanted, but that's fine. So Nana Cluster rewards. Oh. Maybe we have to learn how to make them now. Well, I'll pick up the mission for superconducting fiber because we want to learn how to make that. Yeah, I might, I just might not have the blueprint for some of these these resources now. That's an interesting question. For some reason, it's like letting me pick more of these? Well, we might as well. A number of them are just destroy sentinels, which is super easy for me. But yeah, this will pick us up a whole bunch of... Uh, it'll pick us up a whole bunch of, uh, of blueprints, which is something we need. Okay, so we're all already learning how to make superconducting fiber. Um, now, does it change every time I talk to him? Because that's mildly abusable. No, it doesn't. Okay, it just cycled a little bit based on me picking up objectives. Oh, it's, um, it's supposed to always provide you with, uh, with four completable missions. That makes sense. Alright, well, let's see if... I've got a scientist that I can recruit at the very least. It would be nice if we could get a builder, too. Oh, there's a Gek. Alright, let's recruit a scientist. Let's hire the scientist. He looks like kind of common writery ish I think it was common I don't know. Anyway. Uh, but so we've got a scientist again. And we've got an overseer? Is that a builder? And he's a construction overseer. Awesome. That's exactly what we needed. Alright, last dealio. Let's trade clusters for blueprints. So, oh, 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 oh jetpack booster towel. That is something we needed. Actually, this guy sells all of the shit that we need. Uh, specifically, he also sells stamina enhancement tau, uh, stamina enhancement theta. Alright. I'll pick it up. Um... Because, yeah, we, we needed a lot of these specific... Oh, I'm dumb. Uh, so, earlier we were at a Viking space station. And it was a bunch of weapon blueprints. Now it's... Uh, did I just never realize that? Yeah, so uh, so Vikings sell weapon blueprints. Uh, these guys, Convergence, I think? Um, they give... They give, uh, like, suit upgrades and whatnot. 
That is incredibly helpful. All right, well, I guess with this, I'm gonna probably fly back down, uh, down to the home base. Considering half my missions are destroy sentinels, that makes this really easy. I wonder if I can turn in missions to, uh, to different places, because then I just use my teleporter. Okay, so where's, where's home? Oh, oh, there it is. I got really worried for a second. We were on the opposite side. I was just like, oh, that little, uh, that little, uh, alert means, uh, I can't, I can't warp. That's, that's what it means. I was wondering about that. Um, but yeah, so, I, I wonder if I could turn in missions to the other Viking, because then I can use the teleporter on my base and not have to worry about stuff. Um, what? <laughs> what was that? I I think they actually made it so that uh, warping to specific points, uh, your ship will actually auto path through space to them. So what happened there was we like sidestepped rapidly to get to it. That's amazing. I mean, it looked super dumb, but that was amazing all the same. And landing is as stupid as it always is, but that's okay. Yeah, this is home. It doesn't feel like home, like it changed. I was on the coast and stuff. Ah, shit. That's a good point, I'll have to find a new home base. Oh, that's unfortunate. I mean, it's okay, we'll, uh, I'll figure out how to get to one of the, like, super exotic systems. So we can do some stuff. And we want to farm some of these, but yeah, I, I have, I have lost my beautiful, beautiful ocean view base planet. Well, that's okay. I mean, honestly, I'd rather enjoy the, uh, I'd rather enjoy the, the uh, base building mechanics anyway. It's very pretty. So let's talk to this guy. See if he has anything useful for us. Okay, you have so much to learn, so much to see, and this place will be our home amidst the infinite. Take this glass and let starlight flood into our jolly home. Okay. Everything pours through glass in the end, but there's time enough for that. There are other things we have to do. If you gather platinum, and we use it to calibrate a science terminal, the Corvex suffered terribly. Oh yeah, Corvex convergence. Okay, Corvex suffered terribly at the hands of my people. Be kind to them, I beg you. Okay, uh, sorry, I, I should probably read these, because they've rewritten the whole thing. Okay, I'm sorry. So, but through their empires, uh, but though their empires have fallen and their structures have crumbled into dust, this space remains immaculate, free of dust and decay, as if it was made for me. The overseer asked me to gather platinum in preparation for the recruitment of a Corvax scientist, except... Assistant, uh, Ometavik is already making themselves useful. A science terminal, a new Corvax guest, and all of the... All just for a handful of platinum. So maybe, maybe I, I don't actually have to do these things. Like, maybe I just talk to him and we're done. Nope. Okay, so the platinum, do you have it? Our relationship is not yet clear. But it's obvious from the urgency in the Gek's voice that they are uncomfortable with my in, inaction. If, since, they have, I have, since they have grand plans for me. It's only natural, I suppose. They must sit here alone, bound by some unknown pact, while I have freedom of the stars. The Overseer is anxious for me to continue with my mission. I don't have any platinum? Well, that's confusing. We also already have the Corvax, which is also confusing. Okay. Yeah, so apparently it, it wiped progress a little bit roughly. Oh, that's fine. At least we know I'm not, not like totally boned here. Uh, let's see if we can buy some platinum. Platinum, I can buy 48. It's obnoxious. Because I need a little bit more. Well, do we have any platinum immediately nearby? Oh, yeah. Probably could have just gathered from this. But that's okay. Uh, let's see if I can scan this stuff. I assume I can't.
Yeah, I'll have to do that mineral scanning around here. But we'll do that in a bit. Okay, so that's got to be enough platinum at this point. The platinum friend, do you have it? How much platinum do I need? I have no idea. Uh, let's check log. So... Planetary base construction. How much platinum do I need to have? I got 170. Might be a little bit broke. I... I don't want to have to start over. I really don't want to have to start over, but it almost feels like it's, uh... It's bust... Oh... Maybe if I get rid of the science terminal. Let's delete that for a second. Let's see if this fixes the problem. Okay, here we go. There you are again, Traveler. I'm sure you have the required materials at this time. The Overseer speaks strangely, implying that we have performed the encounter before. I have no memory of such meetings. I ask who paid them for the service they are performing for me. They laugh and claim that my child did many years from now. I do not know what they're talking about. The Overseer asks me for the Platinum. Give Platinum. Perfect, friend. I knew you would succeed. Just what I need to finish the science terminal plans. Alright, so... Science terminal plans. We have littered the universe in our greed, Traveler. This planet is no exception, but there is much that can be done with litter. Make your way to an abandoned structure and harvest the data from the terminals. I shall use it to fashion us plans for a storage container. Assistant Omedovic is reflective for a Gek. They almost seem to regret the greed that characterizes their people. They wish to make something new from the remains of the old. Is this just greed in disguise or something else? Whatever their motive, the Overseer claims they'll find data for a storage container blueprint in a nearby structure. Except... You won't regret it, friend. I've marked you a site that seems ripe for exploitation. Okay, and so while we're at it, we can also get that science terminal down, and he comes back. Uh, please tell me he counts. Damn it. I'm gonna have to... I'm gonna have to get a new scientist, because this one's broke. Oh well, later. I'll work on my missions, honestly. But I think for now, this is actually a really good uh, stopping point. So I'll see you guys on the next episode of No Man's Sky Atlas Rises. I It's still the same game, but I am looking forward to some of these things. Maybe it just needs to figure out uh, that I have what I have. and I don't know. Whatever. We'll figure it out later. I'm just, I'm just happy to be kind of playing this game again. And I'm happy that there's more stuff to do. So... Yeah, just destroy sentinels. I wish it would actually give me, like, a proper number on some of these things. Oh, it does there. I just wish it would give me a proper number on the log. Oh, well. But, yeah, I guess I, I should probably uh, do the usual outro. So, I guess if you guys like this in any way, shape, or form, leave me a like. Helps more than you know and encourages me to do more. And uh, if you want to see more No Man's Sky, for starters, I've already got, like, a whole butt-ton of completed... Uh, series for this game. God, this is actually a really pretty planet. It'll be, I mean, okay, so no, the, the planet's not pretty. The, that, that planet over there is pretty and the night sky is gorgeous. I'll still have to find a new, uh, place to call home, but at least this one's good. Oh, hi. I got visitors. I guess I get vi visitors fairly frequently. I do have a trade pad. I wish they'd almost auto-trade for me. That'd be cool. Well, what the, what does this guy sell? It's just the usual stuff. I guess he sells viscous fluids, but it's junk. Yeah. Okay, yeah, but, uh, so if you want to see more No Man's Sky and wonder, like, how I got to where I currently am, uh, go check them out. I'll have them, uh, linked in the, uh, in the end slate. Uh, but I guess apart from that, uh, if you want to see more of this, also hit subscribe because I'm going to be, uh, doing a full run of, I mean, I guess rebuild, uh, re redoing the entire base building thing, but also, uh, whatever story awaits us, because there is some kind of story. I just don't know what it is yet. So, I guess with that, I will see you guys in the next episode of No Man's Sky. And as always, thanks for watching.